honorable members of the Forum of Diplomatic Relations in Malaysia, uh, we welcome you this morning to our maiden Human Rights Violations Report, uh, specifically targeting the ethnic minority Malaysian Indians, um, which is largely state sponsored. Uh, our report says that on a people to people basis, uh, we have very little problems within the communities on a people to people basis. Our problem is state sponsored uh, violations of, of, of human rights. On the next page of the uh, pictures of death and disgusting.
he has gone to the department so many times uh, and in our research we identified about 1 million 016,000 uh, Biro Tata Negara graduates uh, Biro Tata Negara in our, we, we do not have a very clear picture but these people are civil servants used to implement uh, UMNO's racist and religious extremist supremacist policies whatever uh, these policies uh, sad to say um, is the last we heard of such um, racist policies being implemented was in um, uh, apartheid in South Africa 20 years ago, some 20 years ago um, please read this report and to us it does not happen uh, supremacy, racism, religious extremism, what is happening in Malaysia has been very uh, cleverly camouflaged and kept away from the international community and um, the world does not know about this and our report here is based on newspaper cuttings and our is all we have full of citations in each and every of our report and we highlight it and we project it and the last page here, the second last page here you see now, in the 2008 general elections, we voted for the opposition, this picture here. Uh, the last Indian traditional village in Kampung Bapala was destroyed by no less than the uh, opposition BAP party of Pinan. And similarly, in, um, in Kedah, a Hindu cemetery was demolished by the past government in Kedah. For example, just to take one example each. And in Slangor, the PKR ruled uh, opposition party in Slangor. Uh, a Hindu temple was demolished in, in, in Ampang. Of course, we concede that it's to a lesser extent, but uh, for example, land is a matter uh, solely within the purview of the state governments in Kedah, Pinet, and Slangong. For example, for a start, they put the these three opposition governments to undo the injustices of the previous uh, Barisan National Amlo government could have granted land to all 90 Tamil schools in uh, Slangor, uh, 58 in Kedah, and also 28 Tamil schools in Penang. But they are not doing it. Two reasons. One, they may feel they may lose Malay votes, which form about 60% of the voter, voting population. Number two, Tamil schools are sitting on prime land. So they see, each time they see a Tamil school, they see a dollar sign. Dollar sign, come for development, many people make their millions. Okay? So we are now caught in a, in a country and the last page here is the, is the famous or infamous uh, cowhead protest uh, where a temple, a Hindu temple was uh, slated to be re relocated to a new uh, site and uh, the locals uh, protested. But if you see the picture here of the Home Minister accommodating the protesters, the cowhead protesters in his office in a press conference um, uh, this, this does not happen in any other part of the world. Saying that we have links with them and, and so on and so forth to justify our and to punish us internationally. Uh, the main motive was to sidestep from the original issue that was the marginalization, discrimination of the Indians in Malaysia. In short, the exclusion of the Indians from the national mainstream development of Malaysia.